Super Hikiyami Moniko Turbo HD Remix. Hello, Minasan, Hikiyami Moniko this, and welcome to another indie game. This one's called Super Alessa Bros, and it's by the developer AP So Let's press enter. And Neomonia Q2. So, this is a spin off game of the A House for Alessa uh, series, right? And it's kind of fun because the last time I remember uh, a spin-off Alessa game It was removed in like two days and I didn't even get to record I, I think that's the only Avidoso game I haven't recorded yet Because I forgot to save it when I saw it I think I played it online and I forgot to download it and I could never record the video, right? So this is not gonna happen this time, I'm gonna record this one uh, Let's start the game, I don't know, I I'm guessing it's a Super Mario Bros. like thing Enter. Uh, choose a character. Social worker, big ass, range attack. Pale psycho, likes dolls, has a side, just like the girl of my dreams. As much as I like Alessa, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna go with... Let's just go Alessa first. Enter. Yeah, Alessa. Mr. Bob. Oh no, Mr. Bob has come back for no reason at all. <laughs> Just when we're about to celebrate Greta's birthday in this abandoned cabin in the wood. Oh, why? <laughs> he created a new family of monsters and they are attacking the world. Come Greta, we need to resort to violence. <laughs> well defeat <laughs> Bob and then we can go back and eat birthday cake. Mm, they are gonna eat cake for the birthday, huh? Let's go. This game, and by the way, this is something I absolutely love as a game developer. This game, it's made in Pixel Game Maker MB. And I rarely see games made in Pixel Game Maker MB because it's, God knows, it's a difficult engine to get into. Uh, if you want to play another game made in Pixel Game Maker, you can go and play uh, Mirkus Adventure in my itch page, which is a, probably a game that it sucks compared to this one, but you can still try it. It's a fun engine. But it's really hard to get used to it, and there's not a lot of documentation aside from the official one. Anyway, let's go play the game. Uh, X. Wait, it says X to jump, C to attack, okay. Uh, A, hold to auto fire. Enter, accept, resume the game. Backspace to pause the game. Which I cannot do for whatever reason, but. Wait, I cannot go back? Wow, that's a, that's a big explosion. Also, Alessa has huge legs in here, Jesus Christ. And depending on how, like, you press the jump button, you jump different. That's really nice. I'm a huge fan of this engine, and... I'm excited to play this, honestly. I'm also a big Alessa fan. Oh, cool. Yeah, I can see. I can see. My, my developer mind can see what is happening in here. Uh, uh. Yeah, this is really good. I will be up to a cake. Nice. I will be up for seeing more of this. What was that sound? Oh, wait. Ah, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm so bad with platforming. Uh, what happened? Game over. Continue. Continue. Also, I can start from here. Thank goodness. I have the feeling that the boss fights in this game are going to be incredible. Are those like checkpoints? Oh. <laughs> I just exploded. Uh, I feel like that's going to happen a lot in this game. Can I just go this way? Damn it! 
<laughs> and I just kept going a little bit. You almost got me, game. You almost got me. Oh god, the platforming is real. I suck at this kind of thing. Ah, damn it. I, I got the wrong button, damn it. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't think I can finish this game. I just absolutely suck at platforming. I love it, but I'm so bad at it. I'm gonna do my best though, I have like an hour to play this game. Should be good for some fun. Alright? You know, it's funny because I have a similar mechanic on the game I did in the same engine. So I, I think I can see where the inspiration from all of this came from. This engine has some projects that you can, like, see and load and dissect for yourself to learn how they work. Which is really, really good. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Uh. Oh, that was close. Ba -ba -bam 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 -bam. Ah, stage clear. Nice. Yeah, this game has huge problems with text, so I'm surprised that managed to happen. All right, all right, stage two. Let's go. It's fun. It's fun. Like it. It's always nice to see people trying different things, especially when it works. Because as nice as it, as, as it is watching people to try different stuff, when it doesn't work, it's kind of hard to... What? Wait, what? The enemy design is so good. Not only how it looks, but... The attack patterns and everything. Really nice. I kinda want to use Greta too.
Man, th playing this game really makes me want to do another game in, in Pixel Game Maker. Then I remember how hard it was for me to do one. Ah, it hurt me going through there. I kind of guess it, but I wanted to be sure. Wait! Uh Imagine that, like a Toiletisia versus Evil game in this engine. The potential of another engine. Don't get me wrong, the, the things you can do with RPG Maker are like almost infinite, especially with like plugins and stuff. But different engines have like different advantages that you can take, well, advantage of, right? So. I like how Alessa falls, it's kind of cute. <laughs> what is that? It's huge titties! Oh my god, it aims! Yeah, it's gonna- this one's gonna kill me. <laughs> what is this absolute- Oh my god! Thankfully you can begin from here, right? Yeah, that's nice. I don't care how hard the boss is, if you let me begin from like the, exactly the boss fight, I don't care. <laughs> what is this? This seems like too hard for no reason. Jesus! There must be a, a strategy, right, to do this. Yeah, it feels like this is the strategy. Too. Just like in Mega Man, there's always a strategy involving one of the corners of the oh, of the stage. It's gonna kill me. It has a bunch of health too. I kinda want to see the comments on this video and see if people are complaining about this boss. Damn it, that hit me. So if she hits you with a heart, it's one damage, but if she touches you, it's three. So I much rather take that. Can you die already, please? Oh god, thank you. Oh, my hand. I am too old for this. Oh. So good, so good. Don't don't be confused with me complaining a little bit that I'm really enjoying this. Like, good games are challenging. A little bit. You don't want to be like Dark Souls or other stuff. <clears throat> Stage 3. And somehow I feel like the... The sprite style, what? 
Oh man, this is so good. I cannot shoot while I'm in here, but... The NES games always had this sort of stage, right? That you can ride a bike, or you can ride like like the the Ghostmobile from Ghostbusters, the Batmobile. Ah, oh, this is so good. That stage in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and this brings back so many memories. This is so good. I know it might it might seem simple and a little bit silly to you guys, but if you grew up playing the NES like I did, that didn't hit me for some reason. It hit me, but I didn't. That one didn't hit me. The only suggestion is if I stop moving forward, it stops moving forward. It should move on its own, so it would be more difficult, but. Just a, a suggestion about this. So it will be more accurate. Well, I do believe you could control the speed of the of the vehicle in that was a tentacle. In the Ghostbusters game. Hey, this is this is a nice well boss fight, very creative. You know what? What would have been nice? A little, a lesser scream when she's hit, like slightly lit scream. Sometimes I don't see the tentacles coming out before they hit me. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I I did, I did see that one, but I couldn't do anything. I didn't see that one, for example. I'm gonna die. Die already, die already, die before I die, die before I die. Nice! Oh, just in time! That was so close. You know, I, I feel like a game is really good when you play it and you want to go and make a game because it, it is so good that it's like I want to make something like this. Spooky ghost, spooky ghost. Close. I'm probably gonna die in here. Oh. oh! Can you die, please? Thank you. Oh. Should not get close to that. Wait, what? Ah! <laughs> what did I die in there? <laughs> my fault, my fault. Oh, a cake is full health, nice. If anything, I wish this game had more references to... ...to the Alessa games. I 
I was gone five weeks and this developer released two games. Amazing, right? Thankfully, I can just spam the, the attack button. As long as you stay close to the edge, because then the projectile disappears and you can spawn another one. You can like infinitely loot these ones. I was wondering, what was the school for and it's a fault. How am I supposed to reach that one? Wait, what? Why did I fall? That was kind of weird. I don't, I don't know. It, it is, is People always have the same ideas because I also did a, a in the dark segment in my game, which is pretty similar. Uh, the similarities are uncanny, but I guess we kind of share the same creative thing. Maybe that's why I like this game so much, right? Who knows, who knows, who knows. Obviously, this is better executed than... So how do I... Oh, but now that I cannot see the enemy... <sighs> yeah, I killed the enemy and I cannot see where the platform is. There's some way to do the platforms like... Trans... Transpassable from the bottom, but not from the top. Maybe that should help there. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna assume this is like five levels. Like most NES games used to be. Yeah, it sometimes it just slides down. When you try to jump, it doesn't jump and you just fall down. I feel like I don't have to kill the ghost, I can just keep going like this. Yeah, like that, see? It just slides right down. Again, I, I, everything I say about this game, it's not a complaint as much as I'm surprised they managed to do this with the engine and suggestions to. Oh my god, just gonna run away. Ugh. A cake! Nice. This is the boss fight, right? Yeah. And... Okay, this is uncanny a little bit. 
Seriously, you can go watch the video of me playing my own game, and it also has a scene like this at the end. Maybe this is not the end of the game, but you also jump a bunch of vertical. Oh my god. Is every game developer actually the same person? Who knows, right? It is really good, I love it. And I love the city landscapes of this. Can I just ignore the ghost? Probably. That felt a little bit like a Mega Man game. <laughs> What's that? That's a strong man ghost thing. Just die already, Jesus. I've been stabbing you. Nice. This was the easiest one. Uh, ah, come on. You're not supposed to hit me after I... Oh, I see. You replace the sprite of... Oh, okay. I, I see how they did that stage clear thingy. Stage 5. What do you mean A? Oh, it's, it's an arrow? I cannot do anything. Cake. Cake. Okay, this just became a vertical shooting gallery with no shooting whatsoever because I cannot shoot anything. Where are we supposed to like attack Mr. Bob or something? Why, why am I going to space? This feels weirdly like that Sonic game I played. In the end you go to space for no reason. I really don't understand what is happening, but I'm enjoying it. I like when you can play a game like this one and, and see the learning experience, right? That the developer trying different things. Like I wanted to do something like this, wanted to do something like that. I want to do five levels of the same thing. So every level is a little bit different, trying a different concept. So good. I'm on space now. Damn it. How did Mr. Bob manage to... To make something in space. I feel like this one's gonna kill me before I kill it.
Damn it. Nice. It was kind of hard to hit him for a bit. Is that it? Five stages? We still have to fight Mr. Bob, right? Or just the family? Final stage, okay. So yeah, five plus, plus the last one. I'm definitely up for seeing more games like this. The the shooting could be improved a little. But I like the variety of enemies that this game has. I need a cake. But there was a spikes up there. It was for me to harm myself, right? And this game is sneaky. I, I did notice some some Kaiso stuff in this game. Uh oh, I think I did miss something. And I died. Okay. <laughs> You see, you can accidentally harm yourself with that. Ah, this is definitely the, the Mega Man slash Metroid, looks more like Metroid, uh, boss tunnel. Honestly, this is the perfect engine if you manage to master it, like the Japanese overlords that master it, to remake some of the AB Doso games, like the side-scrolling ones, obviously. But I feel like at the point, if you're gonna learn everything that this engine has to offer, you might as well just use Unity, right? Unity 2D, as much as I don't like Unity because of what they did last year, uh, they have an amazing 2D engine. And if you're gonna try to learn something, might as well be that. When I tried the engine, when I got the engine, I was kind of expecting it to be like, like the RPG maker of side-scrolling and top-down view games. But it was... A little bit more complicated to use, and at this point, if I'm gonna complicate myself, I'm just gonna go use a real engine, right? No, no, I'm not discrediting this engine whatsoever, I'm just saying, if you're gonna invest the time, might as well do it in something that can do more things. Because as much as this engine can do, it's also pretty limited. Infinite Cakes! Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. And I love the music as usual. Why are you not falling down? Why are you not dying, Jesus? Isn't this the soundtrack of when you're taking a ride in... ...but without the vocals?
kind of feels like that. <laughs> this is a Castlevania. There's no way this is not a Castlevania reference. Ah, come on, Mr. Buff. It's gonna kill me. It died? Ah, come on! Ah, you have to be kidding me! I did survive with zero hearts for a moment. Well, it's a final boss. It has to have different faces, but I have to start from the beginning, right? Damn it. Can I defeat him without moving? I feel like a cake between faces will be nice. I can deflect the balls, but... Alright. Have to hit him in the head, right? Yeah. I think I can save some HP at the beginning by actually moving a little bit. Like when he does that, I actually move. But it's just gonna hit me anyway. Sometimes they just bounce, however they prefer to bounce it. They hit me anyway. 
like that. Like some some even bounce like I, I got less damage when I wasn't moving. Just die already. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Oh god, this this might take a while that I don't have. <laughs> I just not need to time my movements better. Sometimes I cannot jump and shoot at the same time and I got hit because I didn't jump like there. I'm gonna die again. I'm dead. Damn it! I'm so close to finishing it. I cannot let Mr. Bob destroy the universe. Or whatever he's trying to do now. Damn it, that was my fault. I'm dead. It is so hard to try to predict them. Uh, let's try one more time. Ah, 
damn it, yeah, I got hit too much already. Just to be clear, I'm exhausted and I'm not trying to justify my being bad at this game. I already told you guys I'm, I'm so cat. At platforming games. But I, I'm i playing this game after I finish it, my stream of Final Fantasy VII and after I played the entirety of Julia Was Alone Chapter 4. So I've been playing for a while non-stop and I'm kind of tired, especially in my eyes, which have to follow the balls. And I'm not pretty good at following balls to begin with, something I don't like. It's not one of my hobbies. Die already, come on. Yeah, for this one the secret is to stay in the middle, right? I, I can... It hit me while I was dying. If I stay on the ground, I can also not deflect the balls, so... I'm dead. Oh, my hand really hurts. Especially my left hand when, I, when I'm clicking, jumping and firing hurts a lot. I just jump straight into a bullet. Like for example, he throws like one exactly above, like in a ridiculous fashion. You should play baseball, you know, Mr. Bob, you're so good at throwing these shady balls. You and your shady balls. Oh my god, I got hit by the body, that's double the damage. If I could save enough health from fighting this guy to fighting the other... I'm sure I can kill the other one because it's it's just like a chance, right? It's just randomly that I'm gonna get hit or not. I mean, I guess this one is also randomly, but... Damn it, I didn't jump in time. Let, that's what I'm telling I'm gonna die again. Oh, wait, I didn't die again. Ah, damn it, yeah, you jump on the wrong moment and you die because you're gonna fall on the bullet. I don't think I can do this. Gonna give it one more try. Damn it! Yeah, you cannot jump and shoot at the same time, like press the two buttons at the same time, so you just not jump. Again, I know that's a that's a known problem of the engine, so not really saying anything about the game. I'm gonna die.
Just die already! Come on! Yeah, dead. I, I didn't even kill the first. Yeah, I'm, I'm just absolutely... My hand is absolutely destroyed. Like, maybe if I hold this one, right? But holding A while jumping with C, it's kind of impossible. Actually, you cannot jump while holding out the fire. Never mind. Yeah, I think I, I found the... Nice! Whew. Thank goodness. I just have to focus a little bit, but I try to comment while I'm playing and I'm not that good at this kind of games. Do I get an ending? Cutscene? We did it, Greta. Let's hope he doesn't bother us again. Oh, but he will. Yeah, and Greta doesn't say anything. Oh, Greta, your jokes always makes me fuck. <laughs> oh, God. I was surprised by the lack of fart jokes, and there was like one or two, but I'm not surprised anymore. A bunch of Alessa heads. Super Alessa Bros, a game by A. Bidoso and Neumonia Cute. Story A. Bidoso. Characters A. Bidoso. Character sprites A. Bidoso. Monster sprites A. Bidoso. Character portraits and art Neumonia Cute. Which are the same for the remake, right? Development A B does so. Cutscenes Neo Monia Cute. Music used in the game, composed by and performed by A B does so. Game created with Pixel Game Maker MB, Pixel Game Maker MB belongs to Katakawa Corporation. And yeah, you know. Dot 
outbound sample. Uh, this game uses statsets from the following sample games included with the Pixel Game Maker MJ. <laughs> I told you I recognize some of those. Uh, which ah, which N sixty six. Yeah, that's that's really really good. I learned a lot from that game too. If you ever decide to try this engine, I recommend that sample project. It's very educational. Additionally, some graphical assets were assembled using external resources in the public domain. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making the game. It was a really nice side experience to the usual RPG Maker games and the LSS series. And what's with the particles? <laughs> the particle system for Alessa. Okay, yeah, that's the beginning of the game, but I didn't manage to show it at the beginning. Super Alessa Bros. Okay, that was Super Alessa Bros, guys. What did you think of that? Uh, it it posed quite a challenge for me, but it was not too hard that it was frustrating, but not too easy that it was like, what's the point, right? It's the perfect balance on difficulty. A nice little side game. I really like it. Again, nice use of the engine. I... I I did remember my times using the engine playing this game, which was really, really nice to see. Uh, and I would love to see more games like this, not only from this developer, right? If you're a developer and you're watching this and you make a, a, a game in Pixel Game Maker MB, you can send it my way, where you can upload it on EHU and send it the link my way. And I would love to try it because I feel like this is a really underused engine. And yeah, I have played some, like, four amazing games made in this engine. Five with this one. Uh, but really, no one ever uses right, and it's from the same creators as RPG Maker. Just it's I don't think it's as good or as accessible as RPG Maker is. You know, everyone can make, even me can make games with RPG Maker, but Pixel Game Maker requires a little bit more of like elbow grease. You know, <laughs> like say it like that. So yeah, good game. I love it. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you developer for making the game. And I will see you guys in the next indie game stream or whatever I decide to do with this channel. I'll see you later.